Hello Aquarius and welcome to your love reading. <clears throat> All the decks that I use will be listed in the uh, description box below. Um, I love the surprise so I always like to start with the Angel Answer Oracle cards because either it will answer the question that you have at the end of the reading or it will be a part of the reading. So let's see here. What does Aquarius need to know? Aquarius is for Aquarius's love reading. Give him the answer. What's the answer Aquarius needs to hear? So seven. There it goes. I didn't look. Here's your card. I don't know what it says. <laughs> okay. We are going to start this love reading, which is actually, I always put them out on Friday because I figure, you know, a lot of people are off on the weekends and it allows them time to prepare. So this love reading is usually, it, it's supposed to be for about a week, but it can happen a little before, a little after. And if you listen to it and it's not even the right time, it still may be appropriate for you. So, okay. And I have, whoops, a card for Aquarius's love reading. Beginning for the week, starting October 9th, 2020. Card for Aquarius, please. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, Aquarius, one. It does not want to give you a card, Aquarius. Maybe your love life is wonderful, which would be great. Oh, there we go. We got a card. We got a card. Okay, what'd you get? Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Now, I'm going to say something that kind of flies in the face of some of this. <clears throat> a codependent relationship is not considered healthy. But I have to tell you, what's interesting is I have family members who are married like 60 years in some cases. And... Their relationships, if you look at them, they are codependent. There isn't an addiction <clears throat> attached to it. So codependent is, it's almost like some, one person is making up for the other person's deficiencies due to their addiction. That's the best way for me to put it. And if I'm wrong, by all means, you can comment down below in the box. I'm not a therapist. I have no credentials in that direction. I just know from living in the experience of people who are addicted to things, that it's um, it's very hard. So I always say that the catch of the codependent relationship is for the the person who doesn't have an addiction to not take ownership of the other person's problems. So if someone has bad behavior because they are drinking too much, eating too much, and in some ways working too much can be an addiction in some of the cases, Whatever the too much is, if the other person has to make excuses for them, now you're getting into bad territory. You know, that's dangerous. So, Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know for their whoa? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, we got a, we got a bunch of cards here. <clears throat> now, I don't know which one came out first, but because I'm feeling this one, the Nine of Cups is a wish fulfillment. He's got all these other cups, and here he has number nine. He doesn't have 10, so he's not completely done. He's smoking a cigar, he's looking pretty chill, and I always think of that red chair, very luxurious. And I mean, anybody who has enough space to just put a cup in each little cubby, well, <laughs> they gotta be doing good. And he's drinking some red wine, and now, I don't see anything in his cups, but I get the feeling that the relationship that you're dealing with, Aquarius, is it as it has been or it was once fulfilling, but now you're seeing things and you're not so sure. So this this is going to sound funny, but now what's coming to my mind is that this is the Eight of Cups, and because of the codependency. It's not the nine of cups. Like at one point in time, I think in this relationship, you felt this was your wish. This person was the, the bomb. <laughs> Isn't that what they call it? The bomb? 
I don't know. You can correct me. I have no problem with that. <laughs> Thank you, Aquarius. But right now, if it's the Eight of Cups, Eight of Cups is walking away. Walking away can say you've learned what you needed to learn or you need to walk away to find your ninth cup. And it's really interesting because here, all I keep thinking is there's eight cups. Like this one just doesn't seem to be in my head. And it's funny because here's the Four of Swords. And the Four of Swords, I don't read reversals and none of them, I don't think anything came out reversed either. The Four of Swords in the traditional deck is the warrior laying with his hands up in a praying motion. So it's praying, it's meditating, it's uh, contemplation, you know? And I think that if you really are in a codependent relationship and you're thinking about leaving, this is just what's happening now. You are wondering, you know, do I move forward? You know, so of course the, this card looks sad. And then you got the justice card and the justice card says that, you know, you, you could be in court. This could be about a relationship that went south and, uh, for, I'm sorry, don't be offended if you're from the south. <laughs> so this could say that the relationship, maybe this is involving a divorce or maybe, you know, and so, you know, they were your wish fulfillment and things went bad. And so you are involved in a court case or it could just say that justice will be served and, you know, you are going to, things will balance out, you know? And I say that because in here, the scales are even. They're not uneven. And he is looking down and he's reading something. So I don't know, maybe, I don't know. This would not be for very many people, but it's a possibility because, and it's so funny because, yeah, this does involve a marriage. And I say that because you also got the Four of Wands, which is celebration. Um, it's the union of two people or, or, you know, of any, doesn't have to be man or woman, doesn't matter the gender, but it's the union of, uh, it's a partnership. It's the joining of a family. And the Hierophant is usually the symbol of uh, things like marriage and even learning. So this to me says this is involved, whoever I'm speaking to, this is a person who is married and is wondering what to do, Aquarius. So, but it does say with the justice card, things are gonna work out. So here we go. Let's get some outcome cards. How do you feel about that? That sounds like a good thing, right? Let's get some outcome cards for Aquarius's love reading. Some outcome cards for Aquarius's love reading. Well, that didn't wanna come out. It was like, it was a half out. <laughs> Get some cards, please, for the outcome for, whoa. <laughs> well, here's too many. Let's see, we're gonna do the countdown because we did get one card. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. That didn't pop out all the way, one. Okay, and that's it. Okay, so what did you guys get? The first thing that came out, now it's interesting, that I said this could be involving divorce or whatever and change. And this is the wheel of fortune. This is things turning in your favor because it doesn't look like it's been going pretty well, but look at that, there's a light. To me, it's like you see the light at the end of the tunnel. And it also could say that you Aquarius are dealing with a Leo or a Taurus. So, okay, so things are turning in your favor. That's a good, that's a good sign. And then the next card you got was on the Five of Pentacles, which would, you know, things are turning in your favor. And I don't think you're going to feel like you're being left out in the cold. I think that you are, things are going to work out. Now, this is interesting because you got the Lover's card. And, and that's really peculiar when you think about it because Lover's card, although it does symbolize, gem, symbolize Gemini, it could also symbolize the fact that this is a soulmate relationship. Now, sometimes soulmates are meant to come in, teach us a lesson and go. And so I'm wondering if this is a soulmate relationship. But to me, this almost looks like things turn around and maybe you guys are, sounds strange, maybe you guys learn to heal because there is a church back here. And I'm thinking that this could be like things turn around because maybe you guys come together 
and you decide to get help so you can return to the lovers. And I don't normally do this. I'm going to involve a third deck. Okay, so tell me what, why, tell us why are, the, why are the lovers here? Why are the lovers card here for Aquarius? Oh my goodness. Now I've been having camera problems, so I'm praying my camera does not go, go away. Whoa. Okay, hold on. Okay, so let's see here. Knight of Wands. See, someone's rushing. Knight of Wands is like going for it. Action, fire, passion. That That's, you know, he is, <laughs> I think that's a good thing. Yeah, see, what does it say? I, I'm looking at the little book and it talks about um, fiery passion, explore, signifies travel, adventure, or change of residence. Ooh. So, <laughs> It could mean that through all of this, you guys do part ways and then you change. But I think you come together because for me, this lover's card says that there is something special here. And I think that you guys need to work on it, Aquarius. <laughs> and it's so funny because it says get more information. <laughs> Your angel answer oracle card is get more information. And I really believe you do, because if you think you're in a codependent relationship, that means it could be unhealthy. So my suggestion here is, Aquarius, talk to somebody. If you're religious, talk to your pastor, your priest, or whatever. If you're not, have, talk to a trusted friend, um, a family member, a parent, whoever you can, who can be objective, because that's really the catch here. Because I believe that you guys, at one point in time, you really were soulmates. And you still are. You just have to find the key to change things. So maybe you can go together wounded, but come back together as the lovers. Fiery and passionate as you ever were. So thank you so much for being here, Aquarius. Have a great weekend. Have a great rest of the week. Take care.